personally, if I was to be in a competition and I failed and didn't lose enough weight, then I beat myself up more than I do. I'm with everybody in this family. Well, I kind of need, I need people to drop. I need people to. You know, it's quite messed up that um, Amy feels a need to have to keep the family around purely because she needs help, you know, due to her own blindness, I believe, you know, and uh, because of that, she obviously can't drive. Some of that was obviously mentioned in the comments last week. It, it, it is a shame because the reality is this, is that if you're, if you and your family members aren't exactly having a healthy relationship, Sometimes it's good to have a time out from each other. Sometimes separation for a while can do you good. But the fact that Amy feels like she can't even have that, that is hella sad, you know? Freaking tragic. Um, but boy. And to be fair, Tammy makes a very good point. She made a very, very good point. You know, obviously sometimes for some people, if they go into competition and if things aren't working out for them, that competition can definitely derail them. That's why competition isn't always for everyone. Me, myself in particular, I remember when I first started training the gym back in the day. Very competitive, you know. But I found that me being competitive kind of would, you know, put me off track of my own personal goals, you know, obviously when I was in the gym. Now, I only compete with myself, you know what I mean? Don't worry about nobody else. So I do understand where Tommy Tommy is coming from, which is obviously the same place that Amy would come from. Because Amy said that being in a competition would have just messed up her own mental health. You know, not being able to maybe have the same numbers as everybody else or falling behind, etc., etc. So, it makes sense. There's always been the older siblings and me and Tammy. There's always been that division. I remember this before, them speaking about the older division. And it is quite sad that that's how they feel. But to be honest with you, I don't know if that division really exists because I get it. When things get heated, she obviously feels like the older siblings are lying together while her and Tammy are then targeted. So, I, I understand where she's coming from, but... But the older siblings have done a lot for these girls, you know? They have done a lot for these girls. I don't know why they don't respect me. I'm not the stupid sister that they think I am. I'm done. And I do mean it. If she's on her deathbed, don't call me. I mean, listen, Amanda's been a bit too extreme there. We all know she doesn't mean that, you know? As, as one of the oldest, you know, one of the ones that's always been there to care for her sisters. You know, let's be real. <laughs> but you know what, though? It's what Amanda says later on that just blew my mind. Now that I've lost so much weight, I feel like she's kind of jealous. The spotlight's not on her. She's not the pretty sister no more. I'm not going to lie to you. I literally put this in it because I find this funny as hell. Tammy, just because you lost some weight, it doesn't mean... <laughs> you know what? It doesn't even matter. I just found the comment hella funny. To be fair, there's a comment earlier on. Yeah, I'm going to say it. <laughs> where Chris says, yeah, Tammy just... No, he said, Amy just ran away. I was like, she ran away? Ah, boy, don't lie to us now. <laughs> he even joked about himself. But anyway, let's continue. At this point, I just need to get far, far away from my family. One of the best things I ever done was go to rehab to get. I'll be honest, I really. You know what? There's a lot of truth behind that because the grand scheme of it, Tammy did so well when she went away from her family. She was able to lose as many, as much weight as possible. Obviously, I worried. A lot of us worried that once she came back in the same vicinity as a family, that things were were gonna go downhill. But she's been able to stay strong this whole time, so credit to her on that one. I'll be honest, I really don't even remember everything I said that day. I was extremely doped up, and I had surgery the next day. The surgery went well. I find that ridiculous. So you're telling me that you don't remember what happened last night, and you're telling me that everything that had went down was a blur to you because your surgery was obviously... Well, no, no, because you was high on medicine, blah, blah, blah. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a possibility, but... It doesn't mean that you then avoid taking the right actions to make things right with your siblings. Come on now. That's just, yeah. It, it reminds me of like a mole. I don't know what that is. It's like a chocolate chili sauce. It's a Mexican food. All right. The reason I, had, I put this in is because, you see, Amy decided to make some food to, so that therefore she could make amends with uh, Amanda. And in my mind, she was making something that has white chocolate in it. So straight away, you know it's not going to be healthy. So in my mind, I was like, wait, hold on a minute. Isn't this family meant to be like on a health path? So I'm thinking, yo, Amy, why are you making something that is extremely unhealthy? Like, yo, I mean, she starts crying because a man actually likes it. And Chris in the past has said that she's a terrible cook. He said that Amy burnt water. I'm going to lie to you. That, that shit made me laugh. She burnt water. What the hell? Who says that? That is a cruel thing to say to someone. You know, it's like uh, it's like it's like telling someone, um, "How do you boil an egg? You fry it." You know what I mean? Like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> but um, 
Either way, either way, the baddest thing about it is that um, wait, wait, it's like telling someone I didn't boil eggs. You boil water and you put the egg next to it. Sorry, 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 sorry. That, that was terrible. Anyway, anyway, but the grand scheme is why the hell was she serving her some unhealthy meal? She just had a surgery, right? She needs to be having some good foods, none of this junk food. But this family be funny as hell when it comes to the way they make it in sometimes. Food. Like when someone does well, they get a barbecue. When they upset each other, make some food. But the food is never healthy. And then they tell us that it's healthy. Chris is always the head of the barbecue. Amy's always the head of the, well, at this point, time, head of the cake or whatever that is. But um, <clears throat> this is why Chris and Amy are, have never really been. Uh, this is why they've all plateaued in their own weight loss journey. But we continue. I am not going to apologize to Tammy because all that with me and Tammy, I'm over it. If Tammy moves in, then there's going to be five people in the house. I mean, listen, if Amanda wants to not apologize to Tammy, then so be it. To be fair, I don't necessarily dislike her for that. I mean, even though in the situation itself in particular, uh, Amanda was in the wrong. I understand her frustrations because obviously the family have always had frustrations with Tammy for the longest of time. Tammy's always at the, you know, she's always at the root of problems. I mean, Chris explained that she has lived with pretty much every single sibling. You know, and that's not good. You know, she's lived with Amy, didn't work out. Lived with Amanda, didn't work out. What if the Chris didn't work out? And uh, the Misty one, that didn't happen from what I understand because you never said anything about Misty. But with that being said, the fact that Officer Chris is now out here trying to do what he can. So Officer Chris has bought the house next door to his and he's going to do it up. So therefore, Tammy can live in it. And uh, it's obviously not going to take 30 days. So therefore, the solution that he's uh, he, he has now is for... Tammy to live with him and his and his wife and his kids. And that's why the wife speaks about how many people are going to be in the house if Tammy lives in. Which definitely is not going to be ideal to the slightest. But here's the thing though, Tammy, wherever she goes, she's always causing havoc. Whether she lost weight or not, she's still in these little uh, situationships with her, with, her, with her siblings. And that is not healthy. Tammy may have improved her health. She may have improved her relationship with food, you know, for the most part. But she really needs to improve her relationship with her siblings because... If you're the only person that's lived, every single person has never worked out, that tells you a whole lot about yourself. So hopefully Tammy can uh, um, um, look at that and then obviously, you know, understand that she needs to fix up. <clears throat> my apologies, I got really, my throat was a bit, uh. so uh, yeah, but I guess we have to wait and find out to see if Tammy ever does obviously, you know, pick up her attitude. But nonetheless though, Amanda, again, I, I ain't buying this whole thing about, I don't remember what happened last night or the, the day before because of X, Y, Z, I was on medication. No, I ain't even none of that. I'll never, like, come on. I mean, in the situation that happened with her and Tammy, I feel like Amanda should speak to Tammy, but at the same time, because it's always a recurring thing, I understand her not wanting to. So it's a bit of a subjective one. Nonetheless, though, let me know your thoughts and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.